Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy, and this is Google Helpouts. A lot of people know about Helpouts already, but we'll go over it once again for those who may not know. Helpouts is a platform where people can go to find help. You simply go to the site, type in the subject, and you'll be given the option to have a live person help you over a video chat. Think of it like tech support, but for almost any subject, and you can chat with a person face to face instead of over a phone or in a text chat. Okay, so here's how it works. First, you need to develop a problem. Here's hoping that doesn't happen, but in the event that it does, you would go to helpouts.google.com and either search for your problem or you can scroll down and browse the various categories. It can take a minute as a keyword can bring a lot of results from a lot of different categories, but it shouldn't be too difficult to find what you're looking for. Once you find the help out that works best for you, your next step is to get into it. You can start a help out right away or you can schedule one for later if your problem can be solved at a later date. Sometimes you have to schedule it for later because not all help outs are immediately available because sometimes people have to eat and sleep. This is also a common thing with popular help outs. During this process, you'll also need need to secure a payment method for a help outs chat if it's not a free one. You'll need Google Wallet for this. If you don't have one, it's fairly easy to set up. Once you have secured your payment method, you are ready to go. Once you have completed these steps, you simply have your help outs and that's it. Help out sessions can be short or long depending on your spending limit and your scheduled time. If you've ever been in a hangouts call before, then you know how they work. You simply have a video chat with somebody that you're paying to help you. It's also worth mentioning that you can perform this entire process through the Android application if you so choose. Use. The application can do everything the web version can do, and that's always comforting. So if your problem is either somewhere where you don't have access to a computer or it's because your computer is broken, you can still access a help out if need be. So what can you use this for? Well, for anything really. I went diving in to see what topics I could find and there really are a bunch of unique things. You can find anything from yoga poses to food preparation to creating 3D parallax video clips out of 2D photographs. Simple concepts like tech support to more complex things like writing a novel. Even has some weird and specifically specialized stuff like aquaphonics and balloon animal instructions. Critics of helpouts have pointed out that you can find most of this stuff on the internet free of charge and that is true. You can find tutorials for pretty much anything that explains how to do pretty much everything. However, there is an inherent advantage to having someone knowledgeable to interact with and you don't get that advantage when you read a wiki how link. Having someone there to answer your specific questions and concerns can help streamline the learning process and reduce the amount of troubleshooting time significantly. Okay, so let's take a look at what's good about Helpouts. The website and the Android app work pretty much the same way, so you can do whatever you want on both of them. This is a rare instance where the mobile platform and the web platform achieve a near-perfect parity, and I always have respect for that because I don't see it very often. Helpouts has a vast number of topics. You can find help, obtain analysis, or learn about pretty much anything, and Google is adding new topics all the time. For the most part, Helpouts are reasonably priced. There are also free ones available if you're looking to just try out the platform. You can never argue the advantage of having someone live there to talk to you about your specific problem. Sometimes you just need someone to sit down and walk you through a problem or a process so you can understand how it works and Helpouts delivers exactly that. It is a Google service which means it integrates with other Google products. If you use Hangouts and Google Wallet and chances are if you use Android you have both of these things then you already have all the tools you'll need to use Helpouts. Thanks to Google's strict approval process most Helpouts are hosted by people who know what they're doing in their particular topic. In most cases this is not Android amateur hour. Finally, it's easy to use. The mechanics are very simple because it's just a video chat over hangouts with a professional that you pay for. There are no difficult parts about the process. Of course, like any service, there are some cons as well, so here are the bad things. Some helpouts can be rather expensive. Granted, in most cases, the people who run them are seasoned professionals, and it is how much you'd usually pay for that level of help anyway. However, people on a budget have expressed that they wish some of the pricing was cheaper. There are some country restrictions. I don't have a definitive list on where it does and does not work, but you'll know when you try to use a helpouts. Also, if you want to host a helpouts, the country limitations are much more restrictive. Finding the right topic can require some creative searching as a few keywords do overlap. For instance, if you search for driving help, you won't get any results for driving a car, but you'll get a bunch of Google Drive help results. So if you search for something and the results are not what you were expecting, try using different keywords. Overall, this is an amazing platform. It has its detractors, sure, but so does everything ever, and in this case, I would highly recommend that you try it out for yourself to see if you like it. There are free topics to get your feet wet, and it's a great way to get personalized help in a surprisingly wide range of subjects. 
Seriously, even balloon animals. The interface is easy to navigate and the process of paying for and getting into helpouts is as straightforward as you can reasonably expect it to be. There are some limitations here and there, sure, but the benefits of using helpouts outweigh the limitations by a fairly large margin. If you want to try it out, simply head to helpouts.google.com to get started, or if you want to try the Android app, we'll have that linked in the video description as well as the written companion. If what I've just told you isn't hitting those strings or pushing those buttons, what if I told you that you could try it at a discount? For a limited time, you can use the promo code Android Auth, which you can see there at the bottom of the screen. You get $20 off your first paid hangout. There's also a link you can follow in the video description and in the written companion that'll help you automatically redeem that. So now you have $20 to try out your first help out. And really, is there any reason not to at this point? Once again, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority app guy. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you want to check out Android Authority, myself, or the rest of the video team, you can find our social media links in the video description below. If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there, including my review of Google Newsstand as well as my review of Google Camera. As always, don't forget to check out the written companion in the video description below. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.